Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of online teaching and learning of English language. I'm Kavita Sabrawal, working as English mistress at Gurman Senior Secondary School for Boys, Raho in SBS Nagar. Students, today we are going to do the final part of the story, The Magic Violin, given in the supplementary reader of 9th class. Bacheo, menu puri umeed hai ki tuhanu kahani de paag pella ate dusra bohat changi tara yaad honge kyunki jadu de nal sambandat kahaniyan बच्चिया बहुत पसंद हों बच्चों इस तो पहला कि असी कहानी दे अगले हिस्से वाल वधिए आओ पिछली कहानी वाल एक झात मार लीए द फार्म गेव थ्री कॉपर कॉइन्स टू द बॉय एज इज वेज फॉर थ्री ईयरस नाओ लैट्स रीड and recapitulate part 2 of the story the magic violin the boy gave his three copper coins to an old beggar the beggar became happy and appeared as an angel he offered the boy two wishes the boy Asks the angel for a violin, which made a man dance to its magical tune, and a gun which never missed its aim. The angel granted both of his wishes. The boy returned back to the farmer. He made the farmer. danced to the tune of the magic violin the farmer gave him 1000 silver coins to stop playing on the violin the boy took the coins and went away in the meantime the farmer complained to the police against the boy बच्चो जदों किसान ने लड़के की शिकायत पुलिस न कर दी तो फिर की होया आओ अगे पढ़िए द मैजिक वायलन पार्ट थ्री द मैजिस्ट्रेट सेंट आउट द पुलिसमैन एंड दे सून कॉट द बॉय विद द थाउजेंड पीसिस ऑफ सिल्वर that the farmer said he had stolen in those days in sicily the punishment for stealing was death it seemed impossible for such a poor boy to have such a large sum of money so he was sentenced to be hanged at once The boy asked the magistrate to let him play the violin before he was hanged. The kind magistrate allowed him to do so. The farmer cried out in alarm when he saw the hanged man give the violin back to the boy and shouted to the magistrate he must not play he must not play oh do not let him play but the magistrate only smiled and said it can do no harm let the poor lad play the violin for a few minutes he's too young to die so the boy began to play the violin at once the magistrate and the hangman 
and the farmer and all the people who were gathered in the marketplace to see the poor boy hanged began to dance. They danced and danced and while the boy played they could not stop dancing. Oh, 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 the magistrate cried. I cannot go on. I cannot. But he had to dance because he could not stop. Make him stop, cried the tired farmer. Make him stop. He can have my thousand pieces of silver if he stops. I shall die, I shall die, cried the hangman. I can dance no more. Make him stop. But the boy played on. And the magistrate and the hangman and the farmer looked like dead people dancing. For they had no strength left in them. But they could not stop. At last, the magistrate cried, Stop, boy, stop! You shall go free. The farmer gives you the thousand pieces of silver and I give you your freedom. Very well, said the boy. Tell the hangman to fetch my gun and silver pieces and I will stop. So the hangman danced away to the courthouse where the silver and the gun were kept. He returned with the boy's things in his hands. The boy said, Tie the gun to my belt and put the money in my pockets because I trust no one anymore. I shall not stop playing until I have that which is my own and I am too far away from you to catch me again. When the gun was tied to his belt and the money was in his pockets, he began to walk away. But he still played on the violin because he would not trust them. The farmer and the magistrate and the hangman kept on dancing in the marketplace until the sound of the violin had died in the distance. Then they fell on the ground because they were all very tired. But the boy went on to find his fortune with his violin under his arm his gun on his back and the thousand pieces of silver in his pockets. Students, here finishes the beautiful and interesting story, The Magic Violin. Hope you enjoyed it. Bacheo hun asi ik ik paragraph de okhe shabda de अर्थ समझांगे अते फिर उस पैराग्राफ नु समझन दी कोशिश करांगे Here we have the glossary of the first paragraph you should write these word meanings in your notebooks The first word is magistrate पाव दंड अधिकारी It means judge 
punishment pav saja it is a disciplinary action for an offense impossible pav na mumkin something that cannot happen sentenced pav saja da hukam ditta gave the punishment hang at once pav maut di saza death penalty bachyo मैजिस्ट्रेट दे हुकम ते पुलिस ने लड़के नु गिरफ्तार कर लिया लड़के तो चांदी दे सिक्के ले ले गए ओहना दिना विच सिसली दे कानून दे मुताबिक चोरी करण दी सजा मौत सी इसलिए मैजिस्ट्रेट ने लड़के नु फांसी ते लटका दित्ते जान दी सजा सुना दी नाउ लेट्स रीड द पैसेज द मैजिस्ट्रेट सेंट आउट द पुलिस मैन एंड दे सून कॉट द बॉय विद द थाउजेंड पीसेस ऑफ सिल्वर दैट द फार्मर सेड ही हैड स्टोलन इन दोज डेज इन सिसले the punishment for stealing was death it seemed impossible for such a poor boy to have such a large sum of money so he was sentenced to be hanged at once here we have the glossary of the next paragraph alarm pav chetavni it means warning fear gathered pav ikatthe hona to come together bachyo ladke ne magistrate de agge prarthna kiti ki phansi te latkan to pehla us nu sarangi vajon ditti jave te dialu magistrate ne उसनु अजिहा करण दी आज्ञा दे देती किसान इस दे विरोध विच चिल्लाया परंतु मैजिस्ट्रेट ने उस दी परवाह ना कीती लड़के ने मैजिक वायलिन बजाना शुरू कर देता ते बच्चो तुसी सोच सकदे हो कि फिर की होया होवेगा मैजिस्ट्रेट जल्लाद किसान ਅਤੇ ਭਾਰੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੋਕ ਜੋ ਉੱਥੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਨ ਸਭ ਨੱਚਣ ਲੱਗ ਗਏ ਲੜਕਾ ਮੈਜਿਕ ਵਾਇਲਨ ਵਜਾਉਂਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਵਜਾਉਂਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਣੇ ਨੱਚਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨਾਓ ਲੈਟਸ ਰੀਡ ਦ ਪੈਰਾਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਦ ਬੋਏ ਆਕਸ ਦ ਮੈਜਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਟੂ ਲੈਟ ਹਿਮ ਪਲੇ ਦ ਵਾਇਲਨ before he was hanged the kind magistrate allowed him to do so the farmer cried out in alarm when he saw the hanged man give the violin back to the boy and shouted to the magistrate he must not play he must not play oh do not let him play but the magistrate only smiled and said it can do no harm let the poor lad play the violin for a few minutes he is too young to die so the boy began to play the violin at once the magistrate and the hangman and the farmer and all the people who were gathered in the market place to see the poor boy hanged began to dance they danced and danced and while the boy played they could not stop dancing here we have the important word return pav 
वापस आना इट मीन्स टू कम बैक आओ कहानी वल अगे वधिए अंत विच किसान ने कहा कि वह लड़के अपने एक हजार चांदी के सिक्के दे देगा मैजिस्ट्रेट ने कहा कि वह लड़के उसकी आजादी दे देगा इस दे लड़के ने कहा कि चंकी गल है जलाद न कहो कि ओ मेरी बंदूक चांदी के सिक्के लैके आए तद ही मैं सरंगी बजाणी बंद करा नाओ लैट्स रीड द पैसेज ओ ओ ओ द मैजिस्ट्रेट क्राइड आई कैन नॉट गो ऑन आई कैन नॉट बट ही हैड टू डांस बिकॉज ही कुड नॉट स्टॉप मेक हिम स्टॉप क्राइड द टायर्ड फार्मर मेक हिम स्टॉप he can have my thousand pieces of silver if he stops i shall die i shall die cried the hangman i can dance no more make him stop but the boy played on and the magistrate and the hangman and the farmer looked like dead people dancing for they had no strength left in them but they could not stop at last the magistrate cried stop boy stop you shall go free the farmer gives you the thousand pieces of silver and i give you your freedom very well said the boy tell the hangman to fetch my gun and silver pieces and i will stop students here we have an important word trust pav parosa to have faith in someone बच्चों फिर पता की होया जलाद नचदा नचदा होया गया अते लड़के दिया चीजा लेके आया लड़के नु हुन किसे ते भी विश्वास नहीं सी उसने ओना नु कहा कि बंदूक उस दी पेटी नाल बांध देन अते सिक्के उस दी जेब विच पा देन ओना नु लड़के की इच्छा के अनुसार ही कम करना पिया क्योंकि वो अजे भी मैजिक वायलन बजा रहा सी नाउ लेट्स रीड द पैसेज सो द हैंग मैन डांस्ड अवे टू द कोर्ट हाउस वेयर द सिल्वर एंड द गन वर कैप्ट ही रिटर्न विद द बॉयज थिंग्स इन हिज हैंड्स the boy said tie the gun to my belt and put the money in my pockets because i trust no one any more i shall not stop playing until i have that which is my own and i am too far away from you to catch me again when the gun was tied to his belt and the money was in his pockets he began to walk away but he still played on the violin because he would not trust them students the important word for the next passage is fortune pav किस्मत इट मीन्स लक बच्चो सारे तद तक नचते रहे जद तक दूर तो सारंगी की आवाज आनी बंद ना हो गई फिर वो जमीन पर डिग पे क्योंकि वह बहुत थक चुके सन 
ते लड़का अपनी मैजिक गन मैजिक वायलन अते एक हजार चांदी दे सिक्कियां दे नाल अपनी किस्मत दी पाल विच अग्गे चला गया नाउ लेट्स रीड द फार्मर एंड द मैजिस्ट्रेट एंड द हैंगमैन kept on dancing in the market place until the sound of the violin had died in the distance then they fell on the ground because they were all very tired but the boy went on to find his fortune with his violin under his arm his gun on his back and the thousand pieces of silver in his pockets dekhya bachcho ant vich burai ate chalaki di haar hui ate us nek ate dialu ladke di jit hui so kahani kive laggi bachcho maza aaya mainu puri ummeed hai कि तुहानू कहानी जरूर पसंद आई होवेगी नाउ आई हैव गॉट अ फ्यू एक्सरसाइजेस फॉर यू फर्स्ट टिक द करेक्ट ऑप्शन द बॉय वॉज कॉट बाय द थ्री ऑप्शन आर आर्मी पीपल पुलिस सेकेंड द मैजिस्ट्रेट गेव पनिशमेंट टू the three options are farmer the boy the people third the people gathered in the the given options are marketplace ground fields now here we have the answers you can check it first the boy was caught by the police the correct answer is police second the magistrate gave punishment to the boy the correct answer is the boy third the people gathered in the market place the correct answer is market place please write down i'll give you some time please write the spellings very carefully i hope you might have written let's move to the next slide students next slide is related to textual questions first why did the magistrate punish the boy what was the punishment second how did the boy get his silver coins and his freedom back Now let's write the answers. First, why did the magistrate punish the boy? What was the punishment? Please write down the answer. The magistrate thought that a small child cannot have such a large amount of money. He considered the boy as a thief. he sentenced the boy to be hanged at once please write down i'll give you some time i hope you might have written let's move to the second question How did the boy get his silver coins and his freedom back? The answer is 
the boy got permission from the magistrate to play on his violin before dying. Then the boy played on the violin. The magistrate, the farmer, the hangman and the people began to dance. When it became unbearable for them, the magistrate on the farmer's suggestion requested the boy to stop playing on the violin. He offered the boy his silver coins and his freedom. Thus, the boy got his silver coins and his freedom back. Students, please write down. I'll give you some time. I hope you might have noted down. Here I have got home assignment for you. Please note down. Write true or false. A. The magistrate sentenced the boy to be hanged at once. B. The boy was not allowed to play on his violin. C. The boy got his gun and money back. Please note down, this is your home assignment. You must recall the story and solve this exercise. It's very easy. Students, today we have completed the interesting story, The Magic Violin. I hope you enjoyed this session. We will meet in the next session with a new topic. Till then, goodbye.